How are you, man? Good, how you doing? Pretty good. JP, yes. JP from King Coplock, coplock.org. How Joe are you? Blonsky, how you doing? Good, good. Nice to meet you. Watching you guys tonight. Okay. Making sure you guys are safe, everybody else is safe. Yep, yeah, I want to... Uh... Do you guys know what was coming, or...? Huh? Do you guys know I was coming tonight? I didn't know you were coming, but we saw the shirts. Oh, gotcha. On, so. Gotcha. No, you uh, feel free to record. You know, that's that's your right. You I know, know. We're not out here beating on people or anything like that. Yeah, I know. We're, we're starting a chapter here. Yep. Um, it starts tonight, and we have a webpage for Jaffrey and Ringe. So okay. we heard, uh, we, we began some complaints from your department. Um, mostly mostly going after victimless stuff like uh yeah, like would you i mean do you care to yeah yeah i'll tell you um it, it's uh stopping people for inspection stickers okay. and profiling people of that and you know free staters don't you know with the fsp and free staters yeah. we don't like victimless crime stops we want people to be on their way and understandable you know it's just you know little things like that but no brutality or yeah is there uh, again you don't have to answer this or whatever but profiling do you mind elaborating a little bit Basically, our perception is yep. that that police departments like Keene Police okay. and and Jaffrey or Ringe, they specifically target those because they get 20, 25 percent of that money back into the sense the the town mm -hmm. because it funnels their main source of revenue using policing, okay. and that's what's something that we're trying to stop. Okay, um, that's basically what we feel that you guys are profiling for for you know a dollar sign or a check or. And I don't know your city ordinances here as well as I do Keene. Yeah. But, uh, um, you know, that, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what the ordinances here are of your stops. Yeah. I don't know if there's an ordinance for riding on the sidewalk or I mean, skateboards there, on there the sidewalk. Are. I mean, it, it, we only really enforce that if it's a, if it's a problem. It's not much yeah. of a problem, so we don't really do that. How, how did you know it was cop lock shirts with the bags? You just uh, figured you guys, it out. Were, were you out in front of the PD earlier? Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess you had them off or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no so, kidding. Um, cameras. Mm -hmm. Infrared cameras? No. No? no? Eyes. <laughs> Looking through the windows at us. No, nah, just uh, just so you know, and, and we don't write all that many tickets. Um, I just putting that out there. Yeah, we will um, file a 91A and yep. get like all that info. And I think we, I think out of all the car stops, I think it's about 5% tickets. Really? Yeah. No kidding. So we don't. Uh, That's we really don't, good. We don't we don't issue many tickets. Um, I can say personally, you know, I not many at all. So, now, now you being an officer here, like, what's your perception of Ringe? Because I hear a lot of stuff about Ringe. I I can't. I, I don't go over there that often. I don't. No. I mean, have you ever been pulled over in Ringe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. When I first uh, started working here. Really? Um. Yep. Uh, I'm sad. Oh, really? 2007? Yeah. But it, that's cool. the last time. I really don't go through range too much, but, you know, so... So, well, what, do you, what do you say the, the most the most worry is for, you know, crime-wise here? Is it the heroin, or...? Well, we've had an influx of heroin. Um, you know, we, I've gone to a couple of these in the last, you know, couple months. Really? Um, guys dying. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, we've had, we've had some issues with the heroin. Um, you know, that that's the main thing that we're... I don't know what you guys feel about it, but you know I, I understand you guys are you don't like victimless crimes, victimless well, crimes. But well, since I'm not I'm not truly a free stater. Mm -hmm. I'm specific car block. Yep. Um, even though I'm a FSP participant and I'm part of Free Keen. Yep. Um, I I agree with the police going after. Yeah. You know the heroin influx. Yep. Marijuana. I'm not. I never did it. Never sold yeah. it. I think it should be legalized. I'm not gonna touch it or go yeah. near it until then. Yeah. Um, but, I but the heroin, the heroin ruins everybody's life, ruins yep. families. It makes people break into things. But when you stop it and put a stop to it, yeah, crime rates go through the freaking roof. Yeah. I mean, I think I think there should be some type of uh, way to help them rather than incarcerate because mm -hmm. when you incarcerate big dealers and stuff like that. It slows the heroin, yeah. you know, trade down yep. significantly, and people start getting freaked out. Yeah. They're breaking into houses, cutting copper, copper yeah. out of yep. people's yep. homes. You know, I think it causes more harm than good. Yeah. But I think uh, the addiction itself should be addressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have an alternative to jail, I guess. Yeah. You're, yeah. You're I, and I know they have deferment here. Yeah. And uh, you know, alternative sentencing programs in New Hampshire, which is really good, but. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd only go so far. I yep. mean, 
they put them into these programs where they're just going to be recycled into relapse anyway. Yeah. I think uh, I think the mental health field has failed miserably when it comes to the addiction yeah. part of yep. you know uh, people's issues. You know. Well, uh, I, we like to be a department that's open to discussion. Yeah, you, 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 ever, you guys you are great. Have issues or Dan? I know. <laughs> yeah, I think we're pretty open, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you guys ever have any issues that you feel that need to be addressed, um, feel free to come down. You know, and you, you can talk to us. You know, just like we're doing doing here. You know what I mean? And, and if there is an issue, you know that that needs to be addressed. You know, then we can. Yeah, and if uh, if any of your colleagues, if you're worried about me, you can call Keen PD. I have a good good rapport with uh, yeah, yep. you know Chief Costa. Yep. There, there are a couple I don't like that I target pretty uh, fugitively, yeah, yeah. Um, but the rest of them I get along with. Kevin Gina, mm -hmm. Jennifer Ramey, I've known all of them for forever. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I have a good rapport with most of them. Yeah. So you, you got nothing to worry about me. No. I'm not I'm not antagonistic at all. No, that's fine. And if you, if you want to pass these out, this is the, the literature that we give to people. Thank you. So you guys can have one on file, put it in CAD or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, uh, no, I, you know, this, you, you choose to do this, you can. I know. Accountability for everyone. You <laughs> Absolutely. Know I mean? You know, a, a few times uh, I've had, you know, especially out in uh, Burlington, mm -hmm. Vermont, I've had cops come in and, man, I'm glad you were there. Yeah. I'm glad you were there because they were saying I was doing all kinds of stuff. Is there any way I could get that yeah. tape? I, you know. I am 100% supportive of, of video cameras, police video cameras. I've been asking the chief, you know, for some time to push, uh, you know, body cameras. They, they, they're they're yeah. a lot of money. They're yeah, a lot of money, are. especially for the 32 gig in internal hard drives on them. Yeah, yeah. And, and the remote that goes into them, it's just a ton of money and a lot of departments don't want to spend it. Yeah. And and because you guys are always constantly dealing with people grabbing you and yeah. pulling you, they break all the time. Yeah. It's just, you know, I would I would rather have a bunch of free staters around with their cameras, you know. I've yeah. been subpoenaed like 17 yeah. times, especially after the Pumpkin Fest. It was nuts. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, I had yeah. st the state attorney from Superior Court request. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, no, and I, 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 and I'm I, fully and, supportive of having, like, you know, I know it's nice to have someone standing to the side and videotaping, but it's another thing to have, you know, you can the camera right Yeah, right. yeah. Because no, no one's yeah. going to be around all the time. But now, now, uh, do you guys have a, a canine unit here? Do you call Troop C for that? Uh, either Keen or Troop C. Oh, no kidding. Uh, so you guys know Josh English then? I, I yeah. 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 I've Josh, Josh, is, Josh is a good guy. Once or twice, so. But all right, guys. Well, I'll let you get back to your. Yeah, be safe, uh, man. Yep, you too. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, again. you too, man. JP. Joe. Joe. Yep. Okay. All right. See you, Dan. All right. All take fun. care, guys. Yep. There was uh, Joe from the uh, Jaffrey Police, had a really good conversation, a good combo with him. Um, this is J.P. Freeman from Keen Cop Lock and Dan from Ringe Jaffrey Cop Lock. And uh, just getting to know these guys because uh, they're not used to Cop Lock, but it looks like uh, they're aware of our presence, which I, sub I suspected because they were acting very decent around us, not hounding us and following us around. But they made themselves known and we made ourselves known. And the conversation went really, really well. And this is a really good video to post on uh, Jaffrey, Jaffrey Coplock. Nice, nice, good night.